Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. I will be your host as I try to tell you the tale of a young man named Hiro. In the last episode, we decided to explore a little bit. We went up to the north, and we used this lookout tower, which gave us a bit of a view of the local area. We did make it over to the last man on Earth's shelter, having to fight two zombie bears on the way. And we couldn't get inside because, well, it seemed like the door was closed shut. And so right now, well, what happened was, is uh, as you can see, we're very tired, very thirsty. I was chopping wood outside here, right over here. And it stopped me because it said that I could hear footsteps. And you know, it was probably that bear that's in the area, but it was enough for me to run inside. I also have a little bit of surprise for you guys that in the last episode as we were coming back from the mansion, we got us some new friends. But we still haven't named them. Waiting for the comments to give up some names. But we have a beagle puppy and a bulldog to join our Samoyed and our Labrador Mutt. So, like I said, it's probably the bear, but I thought, you know what? I'll just make some food and then we'll drink something and then we'll go to sleep. We'll cut some stuff down in the morning. Uh, mac and cheese sounds good. So off camera, we did practice archery for a bit and we made a clay crucible. I figured it wasn't the most exciting stuff to watch. So I thought I would do it off camera and then the stairs, the step happened. I thought, okay, time to start recording. So the other thing I was looking at was for armor. Now it doesn't seem like we have access to uh, the chitin for armor, but we can make arm guards. Which if you notice that the warmth is, is very little, which is good. Well, that's the leg guards. That is good. So, I mean, it covers like the, the shin area. So I don't think we could wear this with the armor that we're currently wearing, the riot guard armor. And if you look at the arm guards, same thing that this is just kind of like the, the forearms. We'd have to take off that riot armor, which would leave our chest a little vulnerable. So we, we can maybe make that leather armor. I don't know. It's just a thought. I, I just I was intrigued because I noticed that how our, our the warmth wasn't really affected. The other thing is I think that we need tailoring up to make that better armor. And so we could look at something that will just get our tailoring up. So it's at five right now. Uh, I really don't want to make the back scabbard. Because he uses all those leather patches. Maybe like the tricorn. Yeah, this doesn't really use much of like, I, I'm okay with that kind of stuff and it'll maybe get our tailoring up. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I can't see the craft. Okay, well, we're, since we got a fire, we're gonna go over here and do that. And so I want to check out that light industry. That That's going to be our main plan. All right. So I got our tailoring to 51% on five, which is good. And now we're tired. I think it's time to sleep. A little unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that it would uh, do a bit more. But yeah, we're off to sleep. So <sighs> we'll see you in the morning. Let's put on our... Blindfold first, and then good night. Something is making noise. Look at that black bear. See, I really hate to, to, to kill it. It's not doing anything wrong to us, but it just... It's making me uncomfortable, I'm gonna say that much. So here's another thing that I realized. So we have stats through kills on... And I was kind of waiting for something to come up, but it says here we have one point available. I don't know how to check if we have more, but I'm thinking, you know what? We could use that to put our strength up, which will help us overall. And in doing so, we can use that, uh, that the composite longbow that we found. So I think we're going to do that. Let's go. Delicious. So now we can carry a little bit more and we do more uh, damage. 
So we are going to retire our short bow, which uh, it did us well. It served us well indeed. Okay, so looking at this here, minimum strength is nine, which we now have. So I am going to add the arrow rest, to the compound one. Yeah, so it lowers dispersion slightly. And this uh, bow stabilizer system. It's dispersion by quite a bit. It does make it weigh a little bit more, but I'm okay with that. It does make it a little harder to aim. But uh, no, let's do it. Okay, so we got 18 range on this thing. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And we got these, these arrows. I mean, we got 20 arrows. We're not expecting too much. So we are going to use the entrenching tool for now instead of making a new bow. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go scout a little bit. We're going to go check out that area towards that light industry and see what that's all about. I know it's during the day, but feeling pretty good. Okay, so we are in the town right now. I kind of want to stick to these roads instead of using the trail. Looks like we already found our first victim. And we're going to see what else is in the area. Oh. Yeah, we haven't really gone to this part of town. I guess we did during the day. We didn't check out these houses. But yeah, okay. We're just going to wait for them to get a little closer. I'm not worried about these guys. We can fight them immediately. No problem. Okay, we'll wait till we get precise aim. We're using the junk here arrows. Six damage. Hmm. I mean, makeshift wooden arrows, we can't expect too much out of them, but I figure we'll, we'll use them first. At least it does some bleeding, though. Thirty-nine. Wow, that's a good hit, even with with those arrows. That's pretty impressive. Actually, this thing's probably gonna die before it gets to us. I'm taking the risk. Gambled everything and lost. Okay, well, we beat it down. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> we probably should have dealt with that earlier. All right. Let's get extra greedy. Thirty-one damage. Yeah, you really wouldn't want to get overwhelmed, but ah, uh, that wasn't a very good hit. Ah, uh, here's the question: Do we run? Oh yeah, we're faster than it. Let, let's run. There we go. Skirmisher style. I mean, we're not really equipped to be doing that. To be honest, right? Like, we should have a lot less armor on if, if that was our plan. A heavy arterial bleeding. Well, we're going to do the same thing again. Oh, this is, this is kind of neat. I've never actually played like this. Oh no, we'll use the other arrow. I mean, he's probably going to die just bleeding. One would think, but oh, 41 damage. So I guess it's all shot placement. Depends on where it hits. Good thing we're recovering those arrows. And they're quite a bit away from us, so I think we're fine. That iBot, though, the iBots, they're a pain in the butt. Looks like somebody gave it what was coming to him, though. We'll wait for the fought one to get closer. We'll just move a little bit. Uh, we can get a better shot. Kind of hoping to do more damage than just that. I mean, like, from what I understand, the green stuff means that that's a 
like a good hit. The white stuff is a normal hit, and then the little line is like a grazing hit. There we go. So it felt like we had good chance to uh to hit, right? Like Well, I mean it's basically the same as yeah, there we go. Good hits. Wonder why the other ones were just doing so little. I guess they were grazing. It just didn't tell me it was a grazing shot. That fat zombie was uh, not having a good day. That's the wedding day, apparently. Okay. Well, it seems to be fine. I don't like that there's two iBots, though. Like, what messed these guys up? That's actually around... Uh, th that's a hunting store that we, we broke into. So I guess the Rottweiler is probably not going to be able to kill that bot. The bot doesn't really fight back, so it's just going to be attacking it forever? Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Swarming amalgamation. A small flat creature dashing around erratically on a sh seven short legs. Its form is dominated by an oversized set of black mandibles on an almost comically small head, featureless apart from a single black eye. The rest of the body is covered with sickly white skin crisscrossed by black veins. What in God's name is that? Oh, the little picture doesn't really show us much. Okay, fortunately, it's quite a bit away from us, but and it can't see us, but we got the Rottweiler over here trying to fight this iBot. That can see us, but it, it's a little busy continuing with this iBot. Well, time for plan B. A muffler a little messed up. I feel like we would have checked these vehicles anyway. It's not like we're going to find anything new. But that's kind of a shame. I wanted to go south through there. But, like... I don't know. That swarm thing has me nervous. But I guess at some point we, we can't hide anymore, right? I guess this is good for marksmanship, too. No, I guess not. <laughs> I thought that's how it worked. That marksmanship is like just any range attack from a distance, like as far as you can go. I guess it, it just doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> we don't even know what's going on. At least we finally killed the brainless zombie. Goodness. All right. So the fat zombie knows we're there. Oh, they all know we're there. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's not lose our head. Let's not lose our head. Now, we could try to go over here in the weeds. And I think that's what we should do. But it doesn't look like they're coming towards us because they're still dealing with that eye bot. I don't think they're going to damage it. They're just going to be swinging at it all day. Okay, let's go get these arrows in. We're going to just pull back a little bit before we... Take a rest. Yeah, iBot has taken literally no damage. Oh, we can hit it from here. I mean, I guess it's good while it's distracted. Is destroying is it just them destroying it? Oh, they're really wrecking those cars. We gotta watch our stamina. We're using a lot and it's really not doing any damage. I know that they're the makeshift ones, but I just thought uh so it's like the iBot is trying to get away. This is ignoring it, but it's slowly moving to the south. Okay, now that we're in a better position. Yeah, this is probably the best time to, to be doing this kind of thing while they're distracted. Okay, well, that one's bleeding. Let's go after the other ones. Such a small little target, though. Okay, we uh, we should probably pull back a bit. I think there's a bunch of stuff there. We've done lots of damage. I don't know what's going on with all these iBots, but uh, let, let's just uh, pull back a little bit. Oh, I guess the zombie died from bleeding. I remember that uh, using these arrows, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of stamina. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be doing much damage to this dog. And again, it doesn't take much to kill it. We keep hitting the eye. Oh, and we're out. Okay, well, did we do any damage to the eye? 
Just a little bit. It's dripping mechanical fluid. You know what? We're going to uh, pull the entrenching tool. Looking at all this blood everywhere. Um, yeah, we'll stop smashing. I thought it was coming towards us. No, it, it is distracted. Okay. Well, while... Yeah, it turns to... to, to I guess as soon as it smells like human flesh, that, that's more appetizing than the, the robot. But uh, we, we take it out nonetheless. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So, we've been fighting these iBots. I feel like we would know this, but, like, I didn't. I guess it brought in a police bot. So it says, one of the many models of armored law enforcement robots employed shortly after the collapse of civilization. Solar powered like many other robots. It maintains its programmed pursuit of law and order, propelled on a tree of omni wing wheels. Okay, we're going to run in that house. Oh, yeah, it was telling us to drop the weapon, and we didn't. Yeah. Um, we're... Yeah, we're just going to grab, like, what we can, because we see it. But I, I was just trying to break the line of sight. Oh, shoot! Uh, if we go in the basement, we're trapped in there. So we're going to just go out here, and hopefully it doesn't see us anymore. The swarming amalgamation, this would be the worst time to fight that thing. Now the iBot can still see us. I don't know if it's going to like summon the cop bot to us. But we're so far, I feel like we're essentially in the clear. Whew. Okay, let's catch our breath. Well, that was fun. Oh, goodness. Yeah, those iBots really got messed up. But by what? I have no idea. Either way, that's enough that I think that we're going to go back to the hut for now. We need to rethink this plan. Because I don't want to deal with that cop bot. I mean, I don't know what it would take to put that thing down. I guess we could have pulled out our gun, but does it have a gun? Is it going to start shooting at us if we start shooting? Like, I, I really don't know. I don't want to look this stuff up. I wouldn't consider this a blind run. Like, I'll be honest, there's some t things I've looked up. But other things, I, I like being surprised like that. Okay, well, damage-wise, we didn't take any damage. So that's good to know. Our bashing's at four now. Maybe we can read this. Um, well, let's see what Diesel Punk Designs has. Tailoring to five. Uh, that would have been really handy before. <laughs> like that seems to be the story of our life, right, guys? All right, let's let's give this a read. All right. Well, that uh, that was fruitless. I thought because we got our melee to four, maybe we'd have a better chance at it, but uh, that that didn't. Uh, that did not work in our favor. That's a little disappointing, to say the least. Either way, we're just going to eat some of these flour tortillas and potato chips. All right, well, I have a surprise for you guys. <laughs> I was thinking that we had to fix the air filter in it, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently it drives. Now this thing is extremely low on fuel, so we can't expect too much out of this. But if we are going to run over some cop bots, this will be the thing to do it in. So yeah, look at that. 3% fuel and it uses like its own type of fuel. So it's not like we can just find it and put it in the vehicle. So that, that's a bit of a shame. So what we're going to do is we're going to just drive this towards the hut and uh, I'm going to see if we can make that air filter. Otherwise, we're going to carry on with it and just see how far. Oh, look at that. We've already lost 1%. We're not even at the town, so th this might not work out. We damaged the pipe. This might not work out. I don't know if it's the speed that we're going at. I, I don't really know much about vehicles. But yeah, we'll leave it right here, and I, we don't need to drive it to the hut. All right, I'm sorry to say, I think that bear has to go. It's making me too uncomfortable. He just kind of hangs around. 
He's, he's just like walking around. I don't know if he's he's thinking about eating us or what. Because just keep seeing him and it, no. No, we got to do something about that. Sorry to say. I like the idea of live and let live, but we also want to live too. Okay, all we need is paper for this. For the makeshift. I mean, I don't know how good that is, but yeah. It'll do. <laughs> It'll do. It'll just take two minutes. We we need 50 paper. Um, I, I think we have some books that just do nothing. And the diesel punk apparently offers us nothing either, so it's getting sacrificed. And there we go. Uh, we're going to wait till daylight, though. All right, good night. You get up feeling horrible as if something was messing with your body. Still not really getting any healthier than that, eh? Black bear. Okay, that's it. The black bear's got to go. I know you're ignoring us, but you're making me uncomfortable as heck. Okay. We gave you the chance. You got no one to blame but yourself. Now the question is, how are we going to do this? We have the 9 mil. We might die if we fight this thing like in melee combat. If we use the bow, there's no guarantee that we're going to put this thing down. You know, I think we got to 9 mil this thing. But what we need to do is we got to drop some stuff. But we got 15 shots. feel like we can do this in 15 shots. Okay, Black Bear. It's got a range of 14. So we, we need to... There. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, where's the Black Bear? Oh, it's all the way to the east. So I kind of want to be able to get behind this stuff. To give ourselves, like, more time if needed. Oh, boy. So yeah, like I got, though I've been saying this the whole time. I I don't feel like he would enjoy this kind of thing, but the bear is making us uncomfortable. We got dogs to think about, and if it's us versus them, it's us. So he half closes his eyes as he pulls the trigger. We managed to hit it. It's bleeding. It's still ignoring us though. That's what it says. It's fleeing. I guess because it's basically at the extent of our... Oh, no, he because he left our range. That's why. We're running like full sprint, but uh, no, it's faster than us. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. He wants to run away. Maybe he'll leave us. Whatever. We're okay with that. Now, we did just piss off that bear, so we're going to keep the gun out. Hmm, he took quite a bit of damage from the, the bleeding. Oh, okay, we'll leave him be. I thought he was coming back. Because we can still see him, right? That, that's... It's disconcerting, wouldn't you say? But no, he's fleeing. He, that bear wants to live. So we're going to go over to our car. I'm calling it our car. And let's see if we can uh, install this part. Okay. So, yeah, look at that. It takes five minutes. And uh, this fuel efficiency. So, I mean, that it's only got 2%. So we can't really expect too much out of that, right? Like, no sense in hoping for miracles. Is what I'm trying to say. You know what? Let's go. And so as we get into the car that, you know, we actually don't really know how to drive. <laughs> like, we just got it to two just now from, uh, from driving it here. And I hate how it does that. <laughs> So I, this is a Humvee. This, this can take quite a bit of damage. We lack the tools to repair and we lack the armor to repair. Or, sorry, like the, the resources to repair it. We're not going to go too crazy. 
But if we need to run over something, I think we will. There we go. Well, preferably not the zombie child. But you know what? If we see a cop bot, we're going to run it over. Better yet is if we see another Humvee, then we can hopefully take its fuel. Okay, that's that our friendly neighborhood RV that we saw earlier. The riot control bot. So it does see us. So it says a non-violent riot control bot designed to suppress riots and make mass arrests of those participating. Though his relaxation gas is by far its best known weapon. It carries a blinding spotlight and a low powered stun gun for self-defense in addition to a supply of electronic handguns. I wonder if that would be a death sentence for us at this point. Like if it, it gassed us. And then the zombies like ate us. Oof. We gotta hit that pole. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> well, I was a little worried about that. Oh, slow down. So we're trying to get to that light industry. Oh, and this is a dead end road. Okay, let's turn around. Ah. Termitics. Oh, there's that cop bot that we ran away from. Okay, so we're doing okay. Cop bot is fighting the brainless zombie. Aphids. Look at the dermatic charging at us. I don't want to jinx anything, but we still got 2% fuel. What is this? What, did, what is sand? Oh, I don't like sand. <laughs> what is this? Wood ash? Maybe that was like a little forest fire. Don't make sure we're still going the right way. Yep. What is this X? A radio tower. Okay, th those are always good. And a rural house. Radio tower will be handy, you know, for height. Uh, casing on the ground, okay. And who knows what will be in the rural house. We'll check it out. But we're, we're going to go to light industry first. And it uh, looks like we're here. And of course, there's a zombie. Two zombies. Okay, Let, let's get out of the vehicle here. Stop driving. Zombie technician. Hold on, hold on. This is um. Okay, there's stuff. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, doesn't actually have any tool use? Just for attacking? No, oh, it's got to be good for something. Um, okay, whatever. The bow saw. Okay, this has got to be good for something. Great cutting quality. Okay, and wood cutting or wood sawing. I wasn't expecting any miracles, to say the least, but it's the zombie technician that's still wearing his work clothes and Hard hat. This zombie likely used to work on power lines or other electrical equipment. Ah, uh, is this place going to be filled with zombies? Okay, well, let's... I don't want to start firing that gun if there's going to be zombies everywhere. Two zombie technicians. How many zombies are going to be inside? So this is the first time we've used the entrenching tool, actually. Um, because we dropped their bow behind. Oh, it did get a hit on us, but I, I feel like that, that was a pretty decent weapon. It also has cutting, so that's nice too. So we get to level up cutting in the process. Let's just get a little closer. We'll do like a little bit of a scout. 
before we uh, commit to anything. Fat zombies, yeah, you guys come out. So this is pretty good damage. I, there, there is a reason we didn't grab it. I think it's because it, it just it's a little slower and it doesn't have as defensive techniques, but uh, that's still pretty sweet. Okay, maybe we can get that one zombie technician to come after us. There, there we go. There we go. Okay, so no idea what to expect from this. Okay, so we swing with our shovel, aiming at the head, hitting the chest. Yeah, just whack, whack, whack. As it grabs onto us, we look at this thing. It's almost dead, and it's bleeding. That's an advantage of using cutting weapons. We don't break the grip, though. We charge forward. Of course, it bites onto our left hand. Our hand. We have gloves. Either way, we whack it down. This thing is almost dead. We swing and we miss. I guess the bite really hurt. Can't penetrate through our armor, though. Hits us again, but it's not going to win. We're going to win. Well, I'm not really worried about that. Okay, we'll let uh, his friend appear. Hopefully that's it in this place. They're getting some hits. I mean, we are wearing our backpack. Oh, we're taking that 400 copper wire. Thank you, sir. Just take a peek in the window. So far, so good. It might have been it. Feels like there's going to be a lot of zombie technicians in here. Okay, we got to uh, drop our backpack off. We're going to be doing this because our torso encumbrance. I mean, it's not so bad. We can hold on to it then. 13's okay. I thought it was uh, going to be higher than that. American handgunner <laughs> through the lens. I think it's survival. Actually, you know, we are going to grab this because uh, it, it's got some, um, what do you call it? Uh, recipes. We are actually thirsty, so let, let's raid their fridge. Mineral water. Um, no. We're not going to stop consuming. Feral human. So this isn't the first feral that we've come across. I think this is the first, like, just human. Normally it's like feral something, right? Like, uh, what, what do we fight? Well, we fought the feral waifu and, and the, the, the axe wieldy maniac. So, yeah, um... Like usual, you know, there would be like, oh, is it a person? But, um, ow! He threw a rock at us! <laughs> I was going to run back and get that chair to try to block him, but I always forget these things are smarter than... Holy shoot, that scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, it just, it's a tough zombie. So there, there is that thought. There's always that thought. Why are they not fighting each other? So it must register... That is a zombie. So we're going to run back here and close this door. Um, we're just going to drop off our backpack. Because now it should be a bit encumbering. Let's get our, our breath back. Um, we're going to ignore it. Yeah, we'll stop. I don't think we're going to get out of that grip. So look at that. So even with our low encumbrance. Now it's at 6. And it can't hit us, but we can't hit him. That's no good. I mean, he's biting us, not penetrating through the armor. We keep missing every swing. So finally getting a critical hit in the arms. Of course, it manages to hit us in the chest. It's bleeding. We aren't yet. Smacking in the face. I feel like he's almost screaming at this point. Like, let go! As it dies. I had a crowbar. And of course it was a girl. Always a girl. <laughs> ah. I really wanted to take that crowbar. That'd be nice for prying. We don't actually have anything to pry with. 
And this is like the office part of it. Trading basics. And loader's helper. Well, that, that might help me. Battery charger is good. I mean, how could that not be good? Well, we already have a battery charger. We don't need more. This is just office stuff. I want tools. I want tools so we can make better weapons. That That is literally why we are here. Or armor. <laughs> we make better armor. Electric jackhammer. That's a really big uh, battery too. Well, that's good to know. Are they coming towards us? They they apparently don't know we're here. Cool box with... Uh, do we have locking pliers? I don't know if we... We're going to grab that. I don't think we need the rest of it, to be honest. Alex Smoother. Too smoothing quality. Okay. That's a new one. Reciprocating saw. Oh, three metal cut sawing ability. Okay. That's very delicious. Now there's one more crate that we can't get to. So let's see if we can move it. There we go. Brick kiln. And a concrete mixer. Huh. Okay, what's this brick kiln for? Oh, it's for making bricks. Okay, wait. You could use it to fire anything made out of clay. Okay, that, that might actually be worth grabbing. Oh, we got the car. We can load up the car. Socket wrench set. I think we don't need that. The propane tank. Welding tank. Well, we, we should probably grab those. We will eventually be welding one day. And we'll grab that bow saw. Masonry saw. What does this do? Oh, just the weapon. We were looking at it from the outside. The swage and die set. Okay. I really can't wrap my head around what this actually is. But uh, we're, we're picking that up for sure. I just, I always read the description, but it just doesn't make sense to my fat head. Like, I don't know. I I, I guess I'm, because I play D&D, &D, I'm thinking like dice. <laughs> it doesn't actually see us yet. And our, oh, yeah, our torso and commerce is really bad. Now let's drop off this backpack before we charge in and fight this thing. Hold them there. I don't think this thing is particularly scary, but goodness, we we're take we've taken some good blows here. Oh, this is a cube van. Ah, oh, it's not gonna. Well, maybe it's got something inside that we want. Plank, plank. No, we're good. Oh, that, that's, uh, well, that's fine. What's that going? I just saw a bunch of zombies. Acidic zombie. Eat those guys. We're going to have to clear out the other side if we want the rest of the tools. This is getting a pretty long episode. We're going to just do that, and then we're going to call it. Oh, no, that's too many at once. That's three of them. Uh, we can leave that here for now. Oh yeah, they're getting close. Okay, what am I going to do? And okay, we'll go over here. So they're going to be trying to womp on the door. You know what? Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. Come through. Get on that table. Yep. Right there, where the move cost is 150. That's where I want you. Good. So we didn't have to deal with him with his friends. Oh, yeah. Where's the acidic zombie? I, I don't see it. Oh, he saw through. Okay, good. This is actually an even better spot. Because, I mean, look at that move cost. 400. And I think they get cut up when they're there. I'm not 100% sure. Ah! 
No! Ending on acid. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, so we'll run over here. And we'll just keep hitting him. Hopefully he doesn't do that again. Okay. So we killed him, but his good friend Ramirez is there. I'm pretty sure they take some damage in the, the window. Ow! And we sidestep again. Oh, the distracting pain. Oof. Okay, yeah, we're gonna stop running. Catch your fat breath. Oh, ow! Oh, okay, I thought it was from where we're standing. So I guess there's acid on us? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay, we're gonna let that acid subside. As we deal with these guys. Come on. What is going on around here? There's a zombie. Yeah, okay. Come to us. Just regular zombies. We'll fight them. I know what I always say about overconfidence being our killer, but we're going to do it. Yeah, mighty swings, to say the least. And our cutting is at one. That's good. Bash is only at four still. What about our melee? Yeah, our melee is going up very slowly, too. Yeah, good zombie technician. Come at us. Oh, we can use the weeds. Good, 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 good. Enjoy the pretty flowers as we beat you. Ow! I feel like these guys are really strong for some reason. And uh, I know there's a couple, like, we see that zombie, we see the crawling zombie, but I think that's it. We are in distressing pain. We're for sure going to need some better armor. Which is what I'm hoping that we'll be able to accomplish with uh, what we've got from here. Uh, we'll, we'll get our, our pack. Uh, I thought I was hoping we'd have some Tylenol or something on us, but we don't. Of course there's a zombie technician here. And we're wearing our backpack. Okay, yeah. No aspirin of any kind. I really doubt there's going to be any. We're in a lot of pain. But we got to be smart about this. If we see anything serious, we're just going to get out of here. No reason to die here. I feel like there was a crawling zombie somewhere. But aside from that, there really... Yeah, there was that crawling zombie. Really shouldn't be anything else. And I don't even think it can see us given the nature of where it is. But propane tanks are probably going to come in handy. Now, what's a pole saw? Oh, okay. Just I understand. I don't think that's going to come in particular handy for us. Oh, wow. A screwdriver. I gotta say, though, it's nice that we're, we're picking these locks, like, instantly. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. So we do have a reciprocating... Oh, don't we? Like, didn't I pick one up? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, well, let's unload their batteries, at least. Nope, 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 nope. No reason to do that. I think that we got all everything that we're going to get from out of here. I'm not going to mark this as clear because we didn't officially clear it. But that's it for here. Yeah, I'm I'm positive that that's it for here. So the question is, do we want to take that uh, jackhammer? I think we will. We'll take that jackhammer that we found over here. Uh, we can just drag it over to the vehicle and then we can drive home. And hopefully we have enough gas to, to get home. Yeah, this electric jackhammer. Not really my style to use um, jackhammers like this because I'm of the mind that if something is locked you're not supposed to be there maybe that's like a chicken wuss attitude to, to think but I just like you know like that last man on earth shelter what if we break in there and there's all these booby traps and we die that that's how I think right oh you know what we didn't loot bodies yeah we'll deal with that we might well I think we'll, we'll grab the steel plating as well so we're just going to load it up into our car anyways. What well, doesn't matter, right? But let's go quickly loot these bodies. I really want to end this episode. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. No, no, no. We're going to butcher them up. And yeah, just dismember them. Okay, so nothing juicy on those guys. 
Urban Explorer map is fine for me. I don't care about the chain. Polycarbonate? Don't even know what that is. Oh, there we go. I'm glad that we went back. And another Beretta. Let's grab it. Ballistic plates? Yes, please. Oh, they're all too heavy to pick up. Oh, because our weight is basically at capacity. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to take... So we want this. We don't need that. We don't need a can opener. We're taking this Asapi plates. And the first aid kit. That's going to have lots of good stuff in it. I wonder what that gold medal was in. And the M9. Okay, that's what the Americans call the uh, Beretta in the army. So, yeah. Oh, good. That's lots of mags for that. Well, this is going to be a lot of fun stuff. What is this? Is this a book? Just for fun. Guide to Conflict Resolution. Okay. Um, let's see what the handloader helper will do. Fabrication to six. Well, we did it the good old-fashioned way. Do the lens. All right, survival to three would be good. And mechanics to three. Okay, and so with this, I think we're going to go back to our base with everything that we've grabbed from here. This is pretty This is pretty neat. We, we got a lot of neat tools in here that hopefully we can put to use. Hopefully we can get something that we can... Uh, Used to make some better armor because, yeah, we, we did take a lot of damage there. Um, I'm sure some of it could have been avoided. I know we're just grabbing a bunch of stuff there, but I figure why not? We have a vehicle. I'm sure a lot of it could have been avoided with, uh, you know, better play, but it wasn't. And so we're going to need a better weapon, better armor, and we might be able to do it with all the stuff that we got. We're not going to know until we, we try. All there. But that's going to have to be for the next episode. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're all having fun. I certainly am. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good night.